Hi, Soapy friends. I'm Kendra. Welcome to Wet Soap Wednesday. Today, we're going to be salting out some soap. That means we're going to use salt and some old soap, and we're going to make new soap. Well, this is the first step of the process. The full tutorial is up on the website, soapyfriends.com. It's under tutorials and recipes. You can click the link below. You can also just search for salt on the website. Um, there are a lot of reasons why you'd want to salt soap out. So this is a type of rebatching your soap, meaning you have a bunch of soap ends, kind of like in the picture for the intro to this. They're random scraps, pieces of soap, wonky offcuts, all this weird stuff. Now, you could just use it as is, sure, it's soap, right? Stuff it in a soap saver soap sack, off you go. Or you could salt it out, turn it into laundry soap, turn it into a new soap. Um, you could even, if it's fully suitable soap, just rebatch it using a standard rebatch or a partial rebatch, or even some of the cold process rebatching techniques like Siaglia um, or confetti soap. Those all work for perfectly usable soap that you just wanna do something else with. But when for salting out soap, that is the only way to reuse soap that there was something wrong with. So a great use for this process would be if you had a batch of soap that got DOS on it. If you have a batch of soap that's lye heavy, you have a batch of soap that you added too much of oil to, or you're not sure what you did wrong, but something's wrong with it and you can't use that soap, do not throw it out. Do not throw away your soap. Salt it out. Okay. So first thing I'm gonna do is I have a little video clip of this pot yesterday. So you can see what was in the pot. This is what I started out with. It is a pot, a pot with water with chunks of soap floating around in it. And then I melted them down, heated them up. And now we you know, are here with this nasty, disgusting looking sludge o soap. It is super thick, soapy water. As far as how much water to use, how much soap shreds to use, um, I actually need to turn my heat down, um, and how much salt to use, all of that is based on how much shred you have, and that is in the worksheet in the tutorial. So I've already done all my math, and what I have now is some really gloppy, goopy, melted down soap. It's pretty ugly. It has all those botanicals in it. I mean, blah, yeah, great. So it looks like kind of runny gravy. I've got a couple of little chunky chunks floating around in here because I melted this down this morning and then just kind of left it alone. Probably left it on a smidge too long. I'm feeling a little bit of stuck on soap down at the bottom. That's okay, you don't scrape the bottom, so I'm not definitely not scraping the bottom. I am going to pop my gloves on and let's do this. This should be really quick. So what happens when you add salt to this is we are going to basically be purifying the soap, the soap molecule. So when we say soap, we're typically talking about a bar soap. I'm going to start adding while I'm talking. We, we're typically talking about a full bar soap and all of the stuff in it. So the glycerin, the fragrance, the botanicals, the essential, the colorants, all the extra stuff in the soap, the bar soap, along with the actual saponified fats, the soap molecules. By dissolving it all in water, and then adding salt to it, we are precipitating out the soap, just the soap particles, so it floats on top. I mean, that's that's like the basics of it. It's really kind of pretty cool chemistry. It's kind of like, um, you know, if you ever went to the Dead Sea, you totally want to go to the Dead Sea, and you can float in it, kind of like the same thing, but not really. 
<laughs> um, when we're done here, the top layer is going to be all of the soap particles floating on top of all of the sludge that is uh, the glycerin, excess oils. Um, if this was lye heavy, um, it would separate out the lye from it. So it's pretty cool and useful. Um, one of my favorite uses for this is for making laundry soap. That recipe's on the tutorial as well. Um, I've had some friends ask me if I was ever going to sell my laundry soap, and I'm like, no way. I do think it's a lot of extra work. Um, I don't know, maybe if I had like a full on soap laundry processing facility, but I don't, it's just not something I wanna do. Um, but if you're a soap maker and you have this, these soap shreds sitting around, man, it is a great way to use something that you already have. So I think you can see pretty well here that things are sort of starting to change. It's almost like I'm getting a, a layer on top, a gooier layer, and I can definitely feel it more liquidy at the on the bottom and I'm just stirring nice and slow trying to get this salt to dissolve. Um, some of these soaps in here had a little extra super fat to them so I did add a little extra sodium hydroxide to kind of cook those out into soap that was earlier. Um, and I might need to add a little more so a little more salt than what I have here. So we shall see. I did weigh everything out, but as I mentioned in the tutorial, this is kind of an eyeballing it process. Um, I did have to add a little extra water because I left it cooking for a bit too long. But as long as you have that gravy-like texture, you're all good. So let's see if we can get it to happen for you here. It's really cool when it does. I mean, you can tell it's just like all of a sudden you have soap floating on top. And I've got some of it dried out so you can see this, what it looks like. Once this salts out, I'm going to have to let it sit. Um, and dry and, and harden up. So it'll harden up overnight. I'm just trying not to stir too fast because I don't want to mix the soap back in. Okay, it's definitely starting to happen. Definitely need more salt. Uh, as far as what salt you're wanting to use, the cheap stuff, table salt, ingredients, salt. I did have um, some of this um, sea salt that I got on a sale, so I'm using that because it technically classifies as cheap salt right now. Um, the first batch of salt I was adding in was just table salt, the super cheap stuff. And that was the last I had of it. So I'm just using some of this sea salt too. Let me get that dissolved. But basically what happens is we're making a brine solution that's adding salt to all the liquid phase that's sitting down below this. I'm going to go ahead and pour more into here so I can pour slowly. And then the soupy parts will float on top of it. Okay. You do want to be careful not to add too much salt because then you have all this salt you have to wash, um, wash out. But you're trying to get a fully saturated brine solution there. Can you see on the side there how I can start pulling this away and I can see the liquid below? We're almost there. Let's add some more salt. I'm just checking on my scale back here how much I'm using. 
And then we slowly, slowly want to stir this so that salt can break through down to the bottom. And I think we're there. Isn't that cool? We're going to let it go for another minute. I still feel some kind of weight down at the bottom. So I think we can let this dissolve for another minute here. But that is about it. Isn't that cool? There you see, you can see, right? Yeah, you can. See that liquid down below? So all this on top is the salted out soap. This is soap. Now it's still wet and super slippery. That's why I can't just pick it up and scoop it to you, scoop it up to the camera to you. Um, now, you can also salt soap out multiple times. So if I wanted to, I could let this dry and then salt it out again. And that will start to remove even more of the color in here. I have a lot of charcoal, matter root, rhubarb. Um, I tossed the ends of the acai soap that we did in here. I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt. I'm gonna add it down the side there too, easier to stir in. Um, I'm just feeling like, like literally feeling through the spatula um, that it needed a little bit more. But yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna check comments while I stir this up because that's really what I need to do right now is just stir to make sure that that salt is dissolved. Hi, Panka. Hi, Net. Hi, Hala. Hi, Sherry. Hey Mary, I'll pop over and check comments on YouTube also. I hope I did it right this week. <laughs> I think I did. We should be live on both platforms. Yep, there we go. Yay, it's salted out. Okay, so now is the boring, not so fun, doesn't make a great video part. Um, we turn the heat off and we wait and we twiddle, twiddle our thumbs and let it cool down. <laughs> uh, this will, in a few hours, um, well, based on, it's got to cool down, essentially. Once that cools down, I'm going to get this big block that'll crumble up into this. These are um, soap crumbles. So this is salted out soap. It was a big block. I dried it, crumbled it up and dried it out. And, ooh, what I love to do with this, that's what I take with me when I go out and about in public and public restrooms and that yucky soap that they have. Ew, that stuff smells so bad. Let me grab some water here. But let's wash our hands with this. So this, I just carry some around with me in a little tin. I have yet to find my perfect dispensing method, but there it is, that's salted out soap. And so there's no super fat in this. There's no excess lye, there's no um, color it fragrance, anything. It's just raw soap. It very much so reminds me of the soap powder for, and I, I'm aging myself, but when we were kids, remember there was that soap powder in the public restrooms and you'd push a little button and this powdery flakes and they were the driest, nastiest stuff ever. Um, it very much so reminds me of that, except for this isn't, this doesn't feel drying. Um, this is not a detergent. This is soap. We just don't have any super fat in it. Um, we don't have the glycerin in it. We don't have anything. It's just soap. Now, the salting out process, um, let me just dry my hands off, and let's look at these little soap crumbles again. Um, I mean, it's not perfect, right? Th this is not perfectly white soap. I mean, here you can see it next to something white. You can see chunks floating down in there. It is highly soluble though. Um, if I wanted this perfectly white, I could salt it out more. So this first salting out will 
get rid of my dangerous impurities. See how it's thickening up already? And by that, I mean, if this was lie heavy, oh, I'm pulling from the wrong side. Sorry, you couldn't see me pulling it away. See how it's really thickening up there because it's cooling off. If this was lie heavy soap, um, I, it would no longer be lie heavy soap. Now all the lye would be in that liquid down below. So once this is fully dried off, you can take it out and you rinse it off and it will be lighter than it is now. But if I really want to clean the color out of that, I'll need to salt it out multiple times. I'm not going to because I'm not doing this for super pretty soap. I think it's going to be a beautiful color. Um, I have taken soap that was this kind of brownish color after I salted it out and made it purple, pink, um, orange, blues, all sorts of colors. So I, you know, I mean, if it was like really, really, really dark, I might have, it'll also lighten up as it cools up, cools up, cools down. So it will be a bit lighter than this. I don't think it'll be light as this. I think this one, gosh, I don't remember what colors were in here to begin with. It was, ooh, I had a hiccup. It was pretty dark to begin with. And I think I salted this one out twice. Um, and that was when I was doing the tutorial. I think, I mean, I'd have to go back and look at my notes. Um, doing the videos for the tutorial so that you could see that you could multiple soup something out. In the tutorial, we do take some really nasty DOS soap and salt that out, works great. And we turn that into a new soap. We also take some really, really, really dark blue indigo soap and salt that out. Indigo is a bear to salt out because it's more than just a colorant mixed in with the soap. It's really dyeing, you know, staining all the soap. So indigo is a bear to soap out if you're looking to soap out for color. Um, okay, so if there's any questions, spit them at me, I'll answer them for you. And, oh, hi over on YouTube, thanks for popping in. And yeah, that's kind of all I have for you today. We are going to turn this into a new awesome soap next week. So join in for Wet Soap Wednesday next week and we will make some new body soap out of this. I call it refreshed soap because that sounded a lot better than old soap that I salted out and turned into some new crumbly soap, but decided to mix in some new butters, oils, essential oils, and glycerin and turn it into something new. Yeah, call it refresh soap. <laughs> All right, my soupy friends, we will turn this into a new soap next week. I will show you the mass and pull it out and washing it off. Um, if you want to get all of my proportions for doing this, go snag the tutorial. It also includes the recipe for my laundry soap and my refresh soap. And you can also get the salting out soap tutorial in the rebatching masterclass bundle where you get all of my formulations and recipes for a standard rebatch, a partial rebatch, the recipe for my top selling Christmas coal soap. Um, you also get Siaglia, Confetti Soap, and a couple of other really awesome tutorials that are included in each of those parent tutorials. So that's all I have for you today. Super short, sweet, but salt out your soap. Don't throw away soap. I don't want to see any of you ever throwing soap away again. All right, my soapy friends. Until next week, see you over in the group and happy soaping.